atopic dermatitis is quite a frequent inflammatory skin disease. It can have a significant burden on around 15% of children and can reach as much as 3 to 5% of adults. It characterized by redness, edema, fissures, xerosis, so dry skin. Although there has been some great developments in the treatment of atopic dermatitis in the past 10 to 15 years, it still is a difficult disease to treat. One of the reasons for that is that there are different forms and we need to individualize our treatment choices for every single patient. Shared decision making refers to a concept uh, that brings the patient and the doctor together to choose the best appropriate treatment option. So on the doctor or the, pr the primary care or the nurse side, they're gonna discuss the risks and benefits, the cost, the types of treatment that can be chosen. And on the patient side, we need to consider also their values, their preferences, the type of treatment they wish to go towards, their insurance, etc. Atopic dermatitis is a chronic disease. Unfortunately, we cannot cure it. Although there are many forms, they can either uh, arrive by flares and remission afterwards or being present on a continuous basis. There are different treatments for the different phases. For a mild disease, there are some topical treatments and also life modifications. But for a moderate to severe disease, there are also systemic treatment and advanced therapies. In terms of bathing and showering, some studies have looked at this in patients with atopic dermatitis. What we can get out of it is mostly general counseling. In terms of frequency, we prefer to limit exposure to one a day. So either one bath or one shower a day, except when, let's say, you're doing sport, then you can take a shower or a bath afterward. In terms of temperature, you'll prefer to go with a lukewarm water. Not too warm, not too cold to prevent the irritation. In terms of cleansing, you'll prefer a gentle cleanser without fragrances and you only need to wash the places where you think there's some uh, stinkiness or dirtiness and don't scrub too hard again to prevent the irritation. Using a frequent emollient is very important in the atopic dermatitis field. One of the reason is because genetically or due to the inflammation, the barrier of the skin is not proper enough to prevent irritants or pathogen to enter the skin. So by using daily a cream or an ointment to hydrate the skin, you help your skin to have a better barrier and therefore protect to those irritants or pathogens. The good news is there are many options to address atopic dermatitis. Although it can be complicated to choose the right option, it's therefore important to ask and discuss with your prescriber, that can be your family doctor, your specialist, your nurse, and whomever have significant knowledge in the treatment of atopic dermatitis to allow you to choose the best option. Therefore, going towards the shared decision-making concept.